Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you at the family event. Yeah, no, nah, this one looks weird. <laughs> 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 this one looks weird. <laughs> this guy's done out here, bro. Yeah, the rap's out here, bro. Yeah, the rap's out here, bro. Barbara. Where's Barbara trying to bring his troops on? Look at the one behind us. This one is dodgy though. He looks like a priest or something. Just... Police have classed this group as an organised crime group and it involves 16 people in a county lines operation and at least three of them have identified as members of 6-7. The rest of them are from Lower Tolls Hill, so LTH area, um, right next to Brixton, southwest London. The county drug line operation involves several different lines that covered the southwest West of England. The members that I've identified so far are Rocco, C Rose. I've seen several others in the videos as well, like six seven music videos. Uh, six sevens all about it. I can make a young boy start earning weight. Tristan Hill, that's my zone. If we ain't gang, please yeah. don't grow. Yeah. These my bros, I got their back, they got mine to no hole. More man catch them ops and they dash. You can tell they ain't got heart like that. This is also where the police executed a raid to discover a stash of heroin which they related back to to the case. Six Seven as a group including Rocco and, uh, has had great success. They are one of the pioneers of UK drill, working with the producer Carnes Hill and also accumulating millions of YouTube views. The case was for a conspiracy to supply Class A drugs, crack cocaine and heroin in what they classed as an organised crime group. The group has been jailed as a result of a joint operation by the Met Specialist Crime South and Kent Police and the operation team Raptor. The team focused on disrupting and dismantling criminals linked to county lines, drugs and the exploitation of vulnerable people. Between August 2018 and November 2018, officers identified the gang were running five county lines. So it'd be interesting to find out, which they never do reveal, but how they obtain that information. I'm not sure if there's people talking or if it's just generally good police intelligence. The first line was called the Sci Line. The Sci Line was from London into Bognor Regis. Sus and it was ran by Barg Boy as the primary owner. Walcott Holder and Thomas controlled the line for short periods while Barg Boy was absent. Initially, Thomas acted as a runner for the gang. That's a low-ranking position and he was later promoted through the ranks to become responsible for the resupply of the drugs to the Bognor Regis area from London and oversaw the transportation of people to run the physical dealing, a role that Lee carried out. Phone records showed that Lee regularly up updated Thomas on the profit made and the amount of products remaining. She also frequently travelled between London and Bognor Regis to resupply the line. Thomas relied on a network of others in order to perform his role, including Mackie, Nugent, Alison and Bailey King. Mackie was present on every identified journey carried out by Thomas, acting as a driver on the majority of the trips. The second drug line they caught them with was the AJ line, owned by Thomas, was free frequently operated in towns and villages on the borders of Berkshire, Hampshire and Surrey. Its periods of operation co coincided with the presence of either Thomas, Macquery or Nugent in the area. This was the only identified drug line where the line owner would spend extended periods of time in the actual location. The third line, the police called the Pepsi line. Mundell ran the Pepsi line between London and Medway. He used a number of addresses and runners in order to, in the area to store and sell the drugs. Diakite was found inside an address linked to the line on the 26th of July 2018 along with large quantities of crack and heroin. Analysis of his phone found that he demonstrated regular contact with the Pepsi line. Mundell was arrested on the 2nd of November 2018 and was found in possession of 362 wraps of heroin and the phone that they used to run the line. Bow ran the Jeezy line between London and Medway with with the assistance of Milton. On the 20th of June, Allen was stopped in Chatham and found to be in possession of 16 wraps of Class A drugs and a, a mobile phone linking him to the drug line. On the 6th of August, they visited Grange Hill, Chatham and found Cowan inside an address and more than 600 wraps of Class A drugs. An examination of phone call data showed Cowan in regular contact with the Jeezy line. The gang were also responsible for the sale of crack cocaine and heroin in 
several parts of South London. The method of operation in the case is typical of county lines. The line holders manage the line from London, directing younger members of the gang to a cuckoo address in the home counties to conduct their sales from. These addresses often belong to drug users. Due to the hierarchical system of the gang, those in the middle tier, such as Thomas, sometimes arranged the lines themselves as they did not have younger members working for them. In the later stage of the investigation, police carried out a weapon sweep on the communal areas surrounding the address in Tilson Gardens. That is where all of 6-7 videos are recorded. Well, 80% of them. 50 metres from his front door, they found 282 packages of heroin, a large quantity of cocaine and a smaller quantity of cannabis. The investigation culminated in a large-scale arrest phase carried out in partnership with Kent Police on the 15th of November last year. The operation involved more than 200 officers and was supported by local borough teams and other specialist units across the Met. Warrants were handed out following addresses. It's all in SW2 and Brixton. I think one of them was in Lewisham and Streatham. Officers seized a large quantity of Class A and B drugs. Approximately £10,000 in cash was recovered from the raids and a range of suspected stolen items. The main officer investigating said this was months of hard work carried out by the officers in collaboration with the Kent Police. They all showed exceptional commitment in bringing these 16 offenders to justice. County lines remains a national issue but as the investigation shows we will work closely with colleagues from other forces to share intelligence, gather evidence and dismantle drug dealing networks. There is a clear link between the drug supply and the violence we see unfold on the streets of London. By disrupting the activity of these organised crime gangs we have reduced the uh, violent activity which blightens the community in the months prior to this investigation. They're saying that the OC, the organised crime group they've labelled them as is responsible for a lot of the crimes and violence that has occurred in the area in the months before this raid. So it's an absolutely crazy story. I'm surprised to be honest to see some of these main 6-7 guys in this uh, story. I'm sure there's others involved in this that I haven't identified yet. Potentially some of the lower Tulse Hill man because they are always uh, masked up. But I'd love to hear what people have to say on this so please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. The Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Peace. Don't wanna get done.